Um, people are saying that women should be more engaged with the politics of the referendum. However, women are living the extremities of politics all the time. Um, so what we're asking women to do is to talk to each other. Um, and we've been doing that for years. Women have been the centre of communities. They've brought people together. We've had Tupperware parties. We've had Pipperware parties. We've had all sorts of parties. And all we're asking women to do is to change a conversation start thinking about how they might be voting in the referendum and what it might mean for their lives because just now we're not voting about um, who gets what pensions and how our benefits are going to be sorted out. But what we're voting for is the right to have a voice in these issues and picking politicians that are accountable, that are transparent and that we can have some control over if they don't fulfil what they've promised and for too long in Scotland um, the Scottish community hasn't had that control um, because our votes have been lost in amongst um, the votes across the UK um, when it comes to Westminster and for issues like our benefit system, the bedroom tax, um, all the reserved issues that Westminster hold, um, that's where most of our problems lie. And where Scotland does take control of its politics, um, then we seem to have more success, and that's because people are accountable. Um, what I would like to see now is that those areas um, are, that are reserved just now in the UK are brought back to Scotland because women are the ones that experience the extremities of that. So it's women who are the main carers who are affected by benefits cuts. It's women who are overrepresented in social services where there's massive cuts now. And it's women who are affected where there's children um, and we're getting bedroom tax cuts. Um, and children being excluded from access to fathers because they can't have extra bedrooms for the children to visit. And that has an effect on women's lives as well. So it's essential that women are involved in this discussion not only before the referendum but also afterwards because um, this, the dialogue doesn't stop with a yes. We have to continue after that and, and make sure that women's voices are heard when we're thinking about what politics we want for the future in Scotland. And the referendum vote isn't about today. The referendum vote is about for Scotland's future and children are Scotland's future. And as a mother, it's essential that my daughter not only has the opportunity to vote for a government that represents her needs, but also that she sees that our, our community is strong enough to demand that and our community um, won't be left on its knees um, waiting for handouts from Westminster that will take control and take responsibility of our, our own communities and our, our own finances and any other decision that has to be made. And where politicians um, engage with that, it's important that our children see that we then hold them accountable, that we take responsibility for the decisions we make with our votes. Um, having a vote that has no power attached to it is no vote at all. And there's been a lot of debate recently about whether people should vote. And I've always said that people should vote regardless of who they're voting for. Um, however, I, I completely understand why people, why people feel so disenfranchised and women feel disenfranchised from a politics that doesn't represent their needs. The key for the referendum is that we have to get out and vote because this isn't about voting for Westminster. This isn't about voting for um, politicians that don't represent what we need. This is about voting for the right to that and the right to accountable politicians where it's not good enough that um, they will have expenses that far outstrip ours, that their energy bills get paid for while women and children are sitting freezing and choosing between heating and eating. Um, that politicians will be held accountable for promises they make in their manifestos that never never find um, any any um, truth in them, that they never actually come to fruition. And also that politicians are held up accountable when women and children who experience violence and abuse are never protected. It's unacceptable and it's so important that women are part of that discussion because we've been missing for too long. And now's the time for us to stand up and grasp the nettle and really move forward with the new politics for Scotland.